What's up, Legends? My name is Quake V, and welcome back to another Apex Legends guide. Today, we're gonna be talking about the five biggest tips to help you start ranking up in the new Apex Legends ranked mode. So without further ado, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe, and let's get right into it. All right, guys, right before we get into these tips, I do want to say that there will be timestamps in the description of this video. So if there's any specific part of the video that you want to hear or skip to, uh, they will be there for you to do that. Also, I do want to give a big thank you to everyone. We just hit a thousand subscribers on the channel and I did just apply for YouTube partnership. So thank you for all the support recently. We've been growing so fast and I, I couldn't be more thankful for all the people who've been supporting me in it. All right, so the first tip is setting yourself up for success. Now, what I mean by this is in every ranked mode in any game, there's a certain way to play the ranked mode that makes it a lot easier on you and your team and makes it a lot easier for you to rank up without having you know without getting in even into the gameplay now what i'm going to talk about in apex legends is the guns you're using the characters you're using and also how you queue into this ranked mode so first of all you want to be playing with people who are similar ranks than you if you're playing with someone who's a very high rank say a friend and then you and your friend are only bronze and say your friend was diamond you're going to be playing in diamond games which is going to be really hard on you to rank up so get three friends that all are in relatively the same rank to make it the easiest on you guys to start ranking up and learning as you go. And keep in mind, I did say get three people because solo queuing or even duo queuing into ranked right now is really hard because there's a lot of pre-made teams that are going out there right now and are know exactly what they're doing, communicating. So if you go into a rando queue and you get two randoms that you never played with before, it's gonna be really hard for you to win and it's gonna put you at a disadvantage. Now, second, you wanna make sure you're using the correct legends. There is a meta to this game and if you use said meta, you are going to have a lot easier time. Now, recently, a lot of the legends got buffed and nerfed, but the most, most mobile legends, Wraith, Lifeline, Pathfinder, are still really, really strong. The only thing I recommend not using anymore, the only character that is no longer good, is Lifeline. Don't get me wrong, Lifeline has some really good utility with her res, but her heal drone dying out of the storm, her having no mobility by herself, and the 5% increased damage that she takes now, she's just not the best legend anymore, and there's other legends that you could definitely put in for her. Now, characters like Bloodhound, characters like Mirage are a little bit better, but they are still very weak compared to some other legends in the game. I recommend the loadout you want to be running is Wraith, Pathfinder, and Bangalore. Those three characters are the strongest characters in the game. This is the strongest uh, kind of legend loadout to run right now. Um, you can experiment with Gibraltar. Gibraltar with his new shield buff and his increase in HP. So I recommend sticking with Wraith, Pathfinder, and Bangalore. Um, and th that combo right there will set you up for success really well. Now, next thing is the guns you're using. Right now, the, the meta has changed completely. And if you guys don't know what the meta is yet, it is basically all around the two new hop-ups that were just added to the game, Disruptor Rounds and Hammer Point Rounds. These two uh, hop-ups make guns super powerful. Right now, the meta is actually to be using a combination of Two light weapons, so a P2020 R99, Alternator R99, um, Alternator Peacekeeper, um, P2020 Peacekeeper, Longbow P2020, Alternator Longbow. As long as you're using the Alternator or the P2020 in your loadout, you are using the meta. Currently, those two weapons are actually so strong, which is crazy to say. I never thought I would ever say the P2020 is meta, but it really is. So I recommend the, my favorite loadout right now is Longbow P2020, just because I'm a sniper player and it brings me back to the COD days. But if you want the easiest possible loadout to get kills, I recommend running Alternator Peacekeeper. That is the, that's gonna give you the highest chance of getting kills with not when you don't need as much mechanical skill to do so. All right, so for tip number two, we have switching up your play style. Now, what do I mean by this? So a play style in any game is how you choose to play the game um, in terms of whether you're playing aggressively, whether you're playing passively, stuff like that. In Apex, with uh, how the game used to be, where it was just a casual mode, I would play super, super aggressively, and a lot of people would just kind of hold W and mouse one, not really caring, playing super recklessly, um, and a lot of times getting yourself killed, but just kind of doing it just to get kills because it was more fun that way. But now that we're in a ranked mode, especially a ranked mode that rewards um, more points for placement, you wanna start playing more passively. Now that doesn't mean you have to camp. What you have to start learning how to do is you need to know when to take a fight and when to not take a fight. So the best way to play right now 
is to play super passively, but you can still play aggressively and have a lot of fun without playing recklessly. So let me go over that first. So first of all, if you want to still play aggressively, what you have to do is, you know, press W, run around the map really quickly for fights. Once you get to that fight, judge the enemy's position, judge your position, and, you know, kind of think, is this fight worth taking? Um, can we win this fight? If you think, yes, we can win this fight, we have a better position than them, then 100% take it. Get those five kill points for each person on your squad and then move on to the next fight. All right, so the third tip we have playing the system. Now in every ranked mode, there is a certain set way to rank up and there's certain things that you can do in order to play the system in order to rank up faster. Now in Apex Legends specifically, you have to look out, you have to look at how points are handed out and you have to look at kind of how you can get around that and use that to your advantage. So in this situation, you get two points for 10th plays I'm pretty sure you get four points for fifth place. Fifth place, you get seven points for top three, and then you get 12 for first place. And I think that's correct. And then you can get up to five kill points, and each kill is worth one point. So keep in mind right off the bat that placement is obviously much more important than getting kills because it offers a lot more points. So this is where where I say you know pick what like in last time I was saying pick your fights, make sure you're playing passively but still aggressively at the same time because you still need to get a couple kills here and you know for your team if you guys want to get the max points possible. Every person on your team needs to get five points. Um, that is not it's not five combined kills on your team. It is five points for each player in order for each player to get the five kill points which means your team as a whole is going to need to get 15 kills in order to get the max points possible but placement is much more important so when you are playing make sure you're playing around placement make sure you're playing um passively and make sure every time you go into a game you have that in mind so you don't get back into your old habits of just dropping skull town and dying immediately me and my friend were doing that when we first started because we didn't know um you know kind of how to play yet but now that i've played a lot i've realized that you really want to play safe and you really want to play for placement all right at tip number four we have positioning now this comes up in every fps game ever because it is extremely important especially in games like this so basically the best way to get good positioning in every fight is right before you go into a fight always look at the surroundings around you and think how could i get advantage over the enemy team the easiest way to get an advantage over the enemy team is to get on a high ground over the enemy so if there's ever a situation that you can call for your team to rotate onto a high ground as to get an advantage over the enemy do it when i'm playing with my team i always am calling out things like that um so i know that we're our positioning is better than the enemy giving us an advantage right off the bat before we even start so use that technique to find the correct position before you go into a fight and you're gonna have a lot easier time killing the enemy also, another thing that comes to positioning is where you are in the zone. So try to think about where the, you know, when you're dropping from the ship, look at where everyone else is dropping and try to think where you could go to maybe just get in a couple fights so you get those five kill points, but you don't want to be in too much, you know, of a, of a, a clusterfuck, I guess is the best way I could say it. So that there's, you know, millions of teams around you right off the bat and you just die because that wouldn't be any good. So make sure when you are dropping, make sure your positioning on the map is also good because if you don't do that, you're going to die a lot right off the bat. So keep in mind where everyone else drops and then think of a good place for you to drop on the map or it wouldn't be too hectic. And for the last tip, we have communication. Communication is huge in any ranked mode, especially in Apex Legends. It's something people are not used to doing in this game. Usually this is a, this was used to be a very casual game. You just kind of run around with your friends, just kind of do whatever. But now in a ranked mode, you have to be communicating everything and anything um, if you want to rank up. So what you should be what you should be communicating is low HP enemies. You should be communicating rotations like I said before if you want to rotate somewhere to a high ground to get a good position over your enemy. You should be um, communicating where enemies are. You should be communicating the zone. So be, especially with the zone damage being up, you want to make sure all of your teammates are aware of how close the zone is if you guys need to move. Um, you should be communicating literally everything. Always, if there, you think there's anything useful on the ground that your teammates might need, ping it or call it out um, because you never know. You might find a heavy mag that you don't need, but your other teammate was looking for a heavy mag for his wingman the entire time. So communication is key. Communicate as much as you can. And if you can, kind of be a team leader, especially if you're with randos, although you should be with a pre-made. If you're with randos, kind of take that team leader um, position and 
you know, kind of direct your team um, so that you guys are in a group and sticking together. Anyways, guys, that was the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I make daily Apex Legends content just like this. If you have anything you want me to go over, any guns, any character, um, any anything like that, make sure to leave it in the comments and maybe I'll make a video on it in the future. Well, then that, guys, thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. It literally means the world to me. And hopefully one day we'll get even higher, maybe even 10,000 subscribers. If we do get there, I'll make sure to give back to you guys in some way, whether it be a giveaway or just something like that, maybe even Apex Coins. But again, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Quake, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.